the U.S. military bringing eight of these jam-packed, mask-free, barely any women, no COVID test, no COVID vaccine, Afghans to the state of Texas. Yeah. All right, that's enough of that. So <clears throat> let me just get this straight. Now you care about COVID after 18 months. Now you care about the pandemic and masks and the vaccine and testing. Because it was just like yesterday that y'all were shotgunning horse ivermectin, saying that the vaccines were the mark of the beast, that they were poison, that you were never gonna take them, that masks were somehow an affront to your freedoms as an American, that COVID-19 was a huge liberal hoax, that it's got a 99.99% survival rate, and that the PCR test is so flawed, there's so many false positives that it's a useless test, so why are we even testing anymore? Now you care. It's funny, it just seems like you only care about the pandemic when it could be used as a prop to justify your racism and your xenophobia. Because you're not only talking about it in the context of the humanitarian crisis going on in Afghanistan, but you're also talking about it in terms of the humanitarian crisis going on at this U.S. southern border. And I find it funny that you're standing in front of this very moving and powerful image of people who are literally fleeing their homeland, the only life they've ever known, their culture, their life, their possessions, because if they stay behind, there's a chance that they'll be imprisoned or raped or tortured or murdered. And you have the gall to cry about your freedoms? Why? Because you're asked to wear a mask, to get a vaccine, to protect yourself and those around you in the middle of a pandemic that you now all of a sudden seem to give a shit about? And I find it so funny that so many of you patriots, and I use that term extraordinarily loosely, have profile pictures that look like this. But y'all don't even know the first thing about being patriotic because literally inscribed on the Statue of Liberty, there's a poem that says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, yearning to breathe free. This is exactly the situation that that poem represents, that the United States is supposed to represent, or at least I thought it was. And I also find it richly ironic that so many of y'all say that you're pro-life and that all lives matter. And then you make a video like this, maligning refugees, human beings who are fleeing for their lives, seeking a better life for their family, for their children. You know, your take on this topic would be funny. It would be laughable if it weren't so goddamn pathetic.